Hey gang, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, I am doing shop work today. Not cutting knives just yet. I have to change out my blades on my bandsaw here. And I thought, you know what, now's as good a time as any to talk about bandsaws for a knife maker and for a shop in general. And I wanted to do this video for a little while now, but I didn't want to get into it right away simply because I wanted to have a lot of time behind both of these style bandsaws as well as the blades I'm using and the types of steel I'm using those blades for. So I thought once I had that kind of solidified and I was really confident with that, it'd be a good time to do a video and share to you all what it is that I'm doing and maybe it'll help some of you in the Knife Maker 101 series or just if you have a shop and you want to look at a different type of bandsaw and blades to cut the various metals that you're looking at. So uh, let's start with this bandsaw right here. Actually, you know what? No. Forget you saw this bandsaw. <laughs> no, what we're going to do is I want to start you off first with history and the little bandsaw. So let's go over here. Okay. Now, the one thing I'm going to start off with is the little bandsaw. This is a Milwaukee portable bandsaw, and this is a swag off-road table. Um, I, the reason why I went with Milwaukee was strictly because of name for the most part. Uh, there are some advantages and disadvantages to the other companies. Uh, there's Porter Cable, there's DeWalt, there's Harbor Freight, and there's Milwaukee. Now, uh, excluding the Harbor Freights, which are usually around a $50 or $60 uh, saw, the DeWalt's, the Porter Cables, the Milwaukee's, the Makita's, stuff like that, they're all right around at $300 mark for them. I like the Milwaukee, I do believe the Milwaukee at the time, this is probably three years ago, it had the deepest throat, meaning from blade to the back right here. Um, it had the deepest, so that's one, that was the other reason why I went to this. Uh, I went to the Swag Off-Road Table because it was super well built, and I wanted something more stable, and I didn't have the time to monkey around to try to fabricate something, and, and then where am I going to put that? Swag made these tables. They put all the time into engineering and stuff. It's a phenomenal video I did a while back on this table. Great product. I got no horse in the race there. They're just a really good company. I like the table. Um, the saw and the table, I am probably into it about $600. Uh, the pros to this is it's portable. It's lightweight. It's small, compact. Doesn't take up a lot of room in a shop. Uh, the bad news is um, a limited run on blades to cut certain materials, and there's only two speeds, high and really high. Uh, now, the, the speeds on these are right around at 325 to 385 surface feet a minute. Uh, much, much too high to cut some of the steels that I deal with. Actually, all three of my steels that I cut. When I bought this, I didn't know any better. Um, I was cutting my steel with a hacksaw and grinding away all the stock material by hand. I went ahead and I bought this. I started cutting my stock material and still grinding everything by hand. But what I learned is the blades that were available at the time, three years ago for these saws, um, they weren't working really good. Now the knife steel I talk about is D2 or CPM D2, uh, CPM S35VN and CPM 154. Those are the steels that I use for all of my knives. I don't do anything else. I don't do 1085, 1095, 01. Uh, none of the other glamour steels. I just use those steels and that's it. Uh, so the surface feet to per minute are, is too fast for cutting those steels. Um, also with the blades, a limited run. So uh, fast forward about a year of cussing and moaning that I bought this. I turned around and bought that over there. Now it takes us back to this spot. That's right. It takes us back to the 14 inch bandsaw and this is a jet. I don't know the bottle number offhand. Um, I don't even know if it's still available but uh because i bought it about three years ago uh but this 14 inch bandsaw was a blessing for the shop when i wanted to go up and i wanted to move up from the bandsaw over here to this bandsaw i wanted it to do two things metal and wood i was currently at, i was at the time cutting all of my wood on that dewalt table saw over there and it was big noisy gets kind of cumbersome and stuff like that and a lot messier so i said well if i'm going to go to a bandsaw i'm going to go to a bandsaw that can cut wood and metal so that right there was the first decision. The second decision was a company. Three companies pretty much came to mind. It was uh, Jet, Grizzly, and Wen. Now ShopFox at the time was advertising a 14 inch, but didn't have any in stock. Uh, was kind of skeptical about buying one. The same with Wen, didn't have an experience with those or any other tools at the point at that time. Uh, so I thought to myself, I'm just gonna stay away from that. So I looked at Grizzly and I looked at Jet. 
Now, I really liked the idea of getting a Grizzly, but I could not afford one. There wasn't a Grizzly 14 inch for under $2,200 at the time. So I came across the Jet. It was a, it was a deal on Amazon. It was around $1,500, I think, $1,200, $1,500 right there. Um, ordered it, had it delivered, it was happy. I actually did videos of it. I'll try to leave a link somewhere up above here or at the end of the credits. I'll try to play a video on that. But it might also be in the Knife Making 101 series, which is what this video will be in too, that playlist. Uh, so I went ahead and did that. Now when I bought this, I had previous, it came with blades. It came with two blades, a metal blade and a wood blade. Um, the wood blade was specifically for wood. It worked okay. It wasn't a very thick blade. Uh, it was around a 14 TPI, again, tooth per inch. Uh, that was great. Didn't last very long, and I had to get a new one. The metal cutting blade that it came with was definitely not made for cutting the metal that I need to cut with. Uh, so I reached out to a company called uh, uh, LA Cutting Products or Saw Service of Washington. Now, I originally met them, and I talked with Chris, who is the son of the owner of the company, when I had the Milwaukee and I was looking for blades for that. It was when I got to talking to Chris where he advised me that there are not a lot of varieties of blades, again, three or four years ago, for those types of saws. And so I said, okay, well, send me whatever you think will work. So at the time they sent me whatever they had. They were working okay, but just not the best. That's why I went this one. So fast forward now, I got this, it's unboxed, I'm setting it all up. I reach out to Chris again and say, Chris, this is what I bought. This is what I need. What can you do for me? He sent me out three different types of blades. He sent me out a 14 TPI. He sent me a 10 14 TPI. And then he sent me, I think it was a 10 TPI. Now the 10 didn't last very long. That went to the wayside. The 14 TPI, now again, all these blades are bimetals. The 14 TPI did great. It did so well that this is the actual blade right here. That's right. This blade I'm taking off today because I have to put a 1014 TPI on here to cut blades because I have steel here on the side that I have to start cutting away all and, and shaping all of your guys' knives. So by doing stock removal, I don't use a 14 TPI, I use a 1014 because that works really well. Now I mentioned this blade because this blade right here is just like the other ones where my little tags go. I just had the tags a second ago. Well, this blade here I started using October of 2020, October 13th, 2020. And the reason why I know that is because when the saws come with, uh, when the saws come, they come wrapped up like this from, from Chris and, and the gang. There's a little tag on there and I write the date on the tag and I tape it to the back of the bandsaw to let me know how old that blade is. Well, this blade is almost two years old. That's right, at the making of this video, it's July 25th, 2020. This blade's been used on and off to cut all my wood, all my micarta, all my G10. And since October 13th of 20 of 2018. So that is awesome. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video. Now fast forward to what I'm gonna be doing next is I have some 1014s here that I'm gonna be swapping out. The 1014 does great for cutting the D2, the CPM 154, and the CPM S35V on. You cannot go wrong with using a 1014 for that. Now the caveat is is the reason why I ended up going to one of this, this saw versus that one, is again, that surface feet per minute. I have this set at around 190 surface feet a minute than the 325 that that was capable of doing, the low end. This just mows through all of my steel perfectly. Now, granted, um, I got a little bottle here. I put thread cutting oil in here. Uh, for you machinists, uh, I use that same oil. Uh, matter of fact, uh, here it is right here, Rapid Tap. I use that. Um, I was using a wax for a little while. I do have it right here. I got this from Chris. Um, it's by Lennox. I use it, but I don't use it as often. Uh, I found it to work okay, uh, but because I used to use candle wax actually on my bandsaw, my little Milwaukee. I used to put a stick of candle and rub it, and it worked great for that. But for this saw, I found using a little bit of oil and dabbing that on the steel as you're cutting both help lubricate the blade as well as keep the blade, uh, the steel cool that you're cutting. Now I mentioned this is because, you know what, hold on for a second, it's going to drive me crazy. I'll be right back. Aha, here we go. So yeah, I put 1013 was a date on this, but this was 1013 2018. And the reason why I know that is the 1014, the, the 1014 TPI I am actually going to be replacing and putting on. It's actually hanging up on the back wall here. It's right back here. This is my original 1014 TPI. 
And even though, uh, if you know about blades, the blades on the bandsaws aren't straight in line with each other. They actually ta taper like that. They just go like that a little bit. Well, this one's getting a little soft. It's not as sharp on the tooth and they don't come out as much. So it's having a harder time cutting through some of my steel. It still does good an eighth inch, but I have a lot of 3 16 inch stock material to cut. So I wanna change it out. And what better blade to use than a new 1014 TPI. So that blade right there, it can still be used for mild steel, it could still be used for aluminum, it could be used for brasses and stuff like that, uh, but it's not gonna be used for the D2 and everything out of cut, especially 3 16 But that blade got put on this bandsaw, 713 of 2018. 73, sorry, 73 2018. And it's 725 2020, over two years old. That blade right there, same blade trying to cut the steel. That's great, that is super great. And that's what I like. And that's why I wanted to share this with you guys. Again, um, I don't have any promo codes or anything for Washington Saw, or Saw Service of Washington or LA Cutting Products. But what I'll do is I'll leave their link down below, like a website link and stuff like that. Get connected with them, just let them know that you watched the video at CK Knife and Tool, you heard, you saw what I did and said about them. What could they do for you? You know, give them the type of saw they're using, the type of blades, talk to them about the metals and stuff like that. And Chris and Jeff and those guys, they should be able to hook you up pretty good. Uh, again, no promo code, so I can't really quote any prices or anything like that. That's all I only use for my pins now. I use for aluminum, some mild steel. Uh, ben uses it for projects and stuff like that. So it's still a good saw. I, I'm definitely gonna keep it. I was on the fence about selling it or not, but I was gonna keep it and it's been working out really good. But this jet here, it is 14 inch. You can't go wrong with something like this. It's definitely a good shop bandsaw. Now with that said, um, if you are looking at buying a bandsaw and you don't know what to buy, what would I recommend? That, because it does wood, it does metal. It's cutting my metal down at 190 some surface feet a minute. I change the knob, I punch it in, I cha it changes the gear and it goes all the way up to 3,000 feet per sec surface feet a minute to cut wood. And I don't have to change anything out. All I have to do is go back there and just pop it. I can cut wood with these, but it doesn't cut as efficiently as it does a bigger tooth, a 14. A 1014 works great for it. So works great for the steel. So I'm gonna change that out. I just wanna do a quick video talking to you guys a little bit about that. This isn't a uh, buy a jet or buy a Milwaukee. That's not what this is about. This is buy a freestanding 14 inch wood metal bandsaw. If you are a knife maker, if you are looking to build a shop and just do all sorts of projects, a 1014 wood metal bandsaw is the way to go. Um, if you're really limited in space and you're only doing mild steel or 1085, 1095, then yes, go with something like a Porter Cable or a Harbor Freight or a Milwaukee or a Makita bandsaw. Get a swag off-road table. They make a table for every one of those models. Uh, do that, again, no codes or anything. If there's anything down below, it'll be, if there's anything that you can link or find information on, it'll be down there. So just hit the description. But um, uh, again, no horse in the race with swag or anything. They're just a good, you know, American-made company. I think they're down in Oregon, a matter of fact. Uh, but, and I do, I got a kind of connection with Milwaukee. So maybe I'm a little biased there, but I bought that prior to meeting Phil. So, uh, but I've always been a Milwaukee fan. So, uh, but you know, buy Milwaukee, buy whatever you can to afford it. But if you think you might have the money, go with a freestanding 1014. You can't go wrong with that at all. It might hurt at the beginning, but in the long run, you won't regret it. The other thing is too is there's a lot more variety for blades for a saw like this than there is a saw like that. Uh, that one is very limited. Uh, these blades are actually from uh, Saw Service of Washington. They can actually make different blades for your saw in-house and ship them to you and they're pretty quick on the shipping too. Um, these were standard though, but again, it's a rope gen. These are a 42 bimetal. Um, that's all it says on there and that's for the Milwaukee. But for the, uh, uh, the 14 inch here, we're looking at a Rotgen. It's R-O-E-N-T-G-E-N. I don't know what that is. It's uh, Rotgen, if you say that, there it is. I'm gonna butcher that last name there, but uh, these work perfectly. And it's, uh, what um, I don't know, what is this? Um, I, forgot, I forgot the diameter of that, but uh, anyhow, doesn't matter. 
look these up. You won't be wrong. You won't you won't be disappointed in that kind of thing. And uh, reach out to Saw Service of Washington and LA Cutting Products. So I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna get busy. I got stuff to do. And I'm done doing video. So you guys, thank you for your patience. Thank you for the support. The likes, your subscribes, all the good stuff. It is keeping me from the bottom of the YouTube bucket. And uh, well, hey, I'm gonna get back to work. So you all get back to doing what you got to do. See you later.